Attention, staff. One of our hospital's board members is coming in as a patient. The first doctor to my office gets to treat him. Of course, around here, everyone's looking to prove themselves. Go! How's your grandmother doing? Oh, she's much better now, thanks. It turns out it was just... <laughs> Our money. What? 50 bucks or I tell the girl. I don't have it. Get it. Ellie, I need another doctor over here. Stat. Give me $30. I gave you 20. I'm tapped. That's Johnson. He's loaded. I need a dermatologist over here. Stat. Oh, yeah. Time to shine. What do you need? Is it a rash? Look, I paid this guy to fake a heart attack. He wants 50 bucks. We only have 20. You know, I feel like you guys just use me for my money. You have a trust fund. Now give me the money. <laughs> Look, every time you screwed up with me, I've totally let you off the hook. When have I ever screwed up with you? Okay, never. But we both know that if you ever did, I would give you a break. Now, let's see how you like it when I walk away from you. Actually, I need to go this way. Right the first time. Um, have you seen Mr. Bidwell's blood work? Uh, no, it hasn't come back yet. Okay, have you seen Turk? Not since this morning. Well, I'm sure you'll end up seeing him before I do, so... Bambi, are you giving me attitude? What if I am? <laughs> Sweetie, you have to be a minority sidekick in a bad movie to pull that off. You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, Cha, please! You what? speak the truth! Explain it to this man, please. First, you do the head, then you do the finger, then you talk through the nose, and then you give a lot of attitude. That's how it works. But if you're not from there, you don't understand, so I'm not going to even ask you. Okay, I'm going to leave now. What? <gasps> oh, no, no, you didn't. Where are you going? Where are you going? Now, Miss Creedon is in post-op, so let's start her out by CAT scanning her abdomen. Oh, and gosh, all kidding aside, I'd really like to see us work together on this one. Come on now. Hands in. Woo, please. Me, I could use a little faith. I have to tell the wheelers I didn't tape a thing. You made some interesting choices with the camera, Orson. You didn't want to see any faces? Excuse me? I switched the tapes, just go with it. Here he comes, I see the head. Oh, what a gorgeous head of hair. That's funny. He was completely bald when he was in here a few minutes ago. Yeah, well, we shaved the baby. You shaved the baby? Shaved it. It's standard procedure. What with the recent outbreak of prenatal lice? Yep, definitely. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. Really? Yeah, I'm not buying it. Yes? Carla, look, I just wanted to apologize. I'm so glad. I didn't want us to stay mad at each other. <sighs> it's all my fault. <sighs> I should never listen to you in the first place. I mean, I need to be a strong enough doctor to just ignore you when you won't shut up. That's so sweet. All available medical personnel, please report to the second floor for a cat fight. Cat fight on the second floor. Hey. Shall we sing? The steak night song was to be sung every steak night and had been for the last decade. All clear. The dance was new. We're gonna steak night. We're gonna eat it right. Steak is such a treat. It is the world's best meat. 
We're gonna stay at night. We're gonna eat it. Excuse right. me, doctors. What is your problem, <laughs> lady? Listen to me. We let you, you do your thing. Interrupt. All you right, don't. calm down, calm down. We'll finish in the bathroom at the restaurant. I'm so sorry. Could one of you change the IV in 103? 